Hey guys, welcome back to the lab. This is part five of the Honda AP2 transmission rebuild for the S2000. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the assembly of the main shaft. So, I have everything all pre-lubed, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the main shaft, and just like before, I actually cleaned the crap out of this thing again there are oil passages that need to be cleaned out and there's some more oil passages over here this section of the shaft is actually hollow so you really got to do a good job of cleaning that out it's kind of blocked in the end right here so do the best that you can anyway let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slap on these needle bearings they're a split needle bearing and they go right here for a six gear and again, I have this in the same orientation as they do in the manual, so that way I don't get lost. It helps me figure things out. So I'm gonna put six gear on here. And notice the orientation is six gear. I put the section that the sleeve actually engages, the synchro sleeve engages with the gear in this direction, that way. Now, I'm gonna drop on a synchro ring with a spring on there. And then I'm going to double check the hub and the sleeve and make sure the orientation is correct. So, looks like these guys are pointing down. You need to look at this section right here. See how it pops like that? And those need to point down. Okay, so that points down. And also, we need to check out this section right here. So there's a little groove in this one right here, and this one's flat, so the groove needs to face upwards. So this is in the correct orientation. So again, the protrusions on the spring section right there need to go into the slits into the hub. So I'm going to slip this guy on. So there is the slit right here, and here's the protrusion. So I'm going to attach that guy, the hub, which is splined to the main shaft, get that guy on there. Gotta put it on there straight, otherwise it won't go on. Looks like I got it binded. There we go. Let's get that back on there. There it is. Now, I'm gonna line that protrusion with the slit. I'm just gonna give it a little shove right here. Apparently we're bounded up. Pop that puppy out. Let's try that one more time. Put the spring back on right there. Okay. Put you in there straight. There she is. And I'm just going to rotate that around so that way. It meets up and give it a little shot. There, it dropped right in. There it goes. You can see that it's locked in there. All right, now we're gonna put our other synchro ring on. This is the one for, and again, these protrusions have to go into the slits of the hub. Now we're gonna put fifth gear on there. Fifth gear, there's actually fifth gear right here. You gotta put these synchro adapters right here. I'm going to drop the needle bearing and then I'm going to put the distance collar on. Again, got to put these things on straight, otherwise they won't go on. They're just such a nice tight fit. There we go. Now we got to add on fourth gear. Fourth gear has to go in this direction. Fourth gear has a needle bearing as well, so we'll put the needle bearing onto the distance collar. Fourth gear pops on, and then after fourth gear, you got to put on a synchro ring. Put the synchro ring on. The hub has to go a particular direction again. So the hub for third and fourth, the U has to face upwards. The opening has to face upwards. So we're going to put that on. And this guy's a little bit tight. It tells you in the manual that this thing needs to be knocked down in there. 
you can see it right there. It's a little bit tight, so I'm going to give it a little bit of shove. Put this block right in here. Again, you got to line that thing up. I'm going to actually take a tube and I'm going to knock on this thing just a little bit to get it into position. We use a snap-on dead blow hammer. I just want to make sure this thing's positioned properly. Here you can look at it again. I have that the opening right there. So now I'm just going to put this thing on. A lot of times people do this with a press, but if you don't have one, you could just do this. Make sure that thing's aligned before you get it all the way down. Notice it's made a different pitch as soon as it bottomed out. So now we should be okay right there. And again, notice it's right in there, right where it needs to be. Okay, looks like it's good. Let's remove that guy and remove this guy. So now, we put the synchro ring on. Again, these have to, well, actually, you gotta stick this guy on here first. Again, check the cross section, make sure you get it the right way. And the little groove cut, which is this one, needs to face up in this particular orientation. So we're gonna look for the bigger keys, which are these two right here. I'm gonna line that up with the bigger holes that are cut in the hub, and they're right there. Drop that puppy in right here. There she is. Now, you can drop this guy. Again, the protrusions for the synchro ring have to go into the slits that are in the hub. There's the slit, here's the protrusion. Okay, now, after we have all that, we got to put the distance collar on. And needle bearing. And we finally put third gear on. And third gear, this synchro adapters right here go towards the synchro so that way they can work. So now you see that third gear is free running, fourth gear, fifth gear, and sixth gear are free running. So to put this thing into sixth gear, Merely just grab this guy as if you were a fork and just pull this way. And then that's sixth gear. And now here's fifth gear. That's fifth. Let me turn this over here so you can see it. And put this one back into neutral. And again, the fifth and sixth gear are free rotating. Now, to go in the fourth, just got to shift this way. Now it's fourth gear. And then here is this way again so I can grab it and here is third gear and back to neutral again third gear free running fourth gear free running fifth gear free running sixth gear free running now all we got to stick on here now is we have an angular ball bearing that goes on this side and on this side there is a ball bearing which goes here and there's also a spring washer which goes on top of it and uh we'll go over that next okay thanks